Good morning, Mango Nation. This has got to be the most insane game I've ever played on this channel by far. Going into it, I knew it was going to be somewhat edgy and weird, but I was not even close to prepared for what was in store. Based off of the TV series House, the game is comprised of five different episodes to play through. Each one will only take you about an hour or two, so you can beat the game in a day pretty easily. There isn't a way to lose either, you just get scolded if you make a mistake. So there's really like no point in doing anything. This game plays more like a visual novel mixed with a point and click and other small mini games, if you can even call them that. These tasks are borderline impossible on an emulator, but even if I was playing on the DS, this would still fucking suck. Wow, I'm spinning in a circle. I'm uncrumpling paper. These tacks would actually take less time in real life. This contraption had to be one of the most annoying. I could not for the love of God get it working, and all it did was cramp my hand. This one is a dial, so you'd probably think it turns, right? You'd be dead fucking wrong. Two settings, and neither work. So you have to constantly flip between them. Except for the fact that there's a delay in the switching, so even that doesn't fucking work! You also have to check out the patients and get their symptoms, which, why did they draw the bra and panties like this? Uh, probably due to the sexual harassment overtones of the game. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that every other sentence out of House's mouth is sexual harassment, and the people he's harassing just have zero reaction. He must feel like he's on the Truman Show or some shit. That or everyone is so desensitized and Stockholm Syndrome set in. There's another mini game that is impossible on the computer, but that's okay, because like I said, it's impossible to lose. I cannot get over the fact that they photoshopped House's eyes to be that obnoxious shade of blue. How did they know the YouTuber thumbnail CTR strat in 2010? Meanwhile, these diagnoses are just floating around in unshaded blank boxes in default font. They do about 10 of these in a row, by the way. Just 10 in a row. All to be told they're wrong. Like I said, it's more of a shitty visual novel adaptation to the show's formula. And oh boy, it does not work. So I've said this game is offensive, but so far I've pretty much just complained about the mini games. I'm gonna go through some of the edited gameplay footage of all five episodes, just kind of the most interesting parts, so that you can truly understand the fever dream that is House MD. I've cut out some of the grind and more boring dialogue for your convenience because I just don't want this video to be repetitive, but I could upload the full uncut gameplay on the second channel if anyone's interested in that. So we start off with a nice cutscene. What did he mean by this? The aspect ratio makes this feel like a mobile game that was ported to PC. It's 100 degrees, you stupid cunt. Stop clowning around. The cameraman would get along great with Logan Paul. He would never say this. House hates all his patients. When you become a doctor, you just start seeing gauges in front of your eyes. That's how this actually works in the real world. Yeah, let's put the magnifying glass up to his hair so we can burn them off. Ayo, tick bites? Does bro have Lyme disease? Is he just like me for real? He's dead. It's over. Just give up. What does he mean by this? This is an old guy, not fucking Whitney, Wisconsin. Answer the question. Respond to the allegations. House would say this. It's like, how do you do, fellow kids? Imagine being a child and getting gifted this for Christmas. Who is this marketed for? I highly doubt anyone watching House also played the DS. To be fair, there was so much Nintendo product placement in the show itself for some reason. Is this a reference or something? What's this cliche about collapsing in Florida? I have literally never heard this in my life. Why is he talking like he's promoting the show? I hate it when games do exposition like this. This is not how you talk to your doctor. Oh, he's gonna fucking kill him, isn't he? Excuse me? What is going on here? My honest reaction to this information. What do you want from me? What is this? No matter where I click, nothing fucking happens. How do we know he hasn't been around birds? We haven't asked him. Oh god, not this shit again. Stop looking at me with them big ol' eyes! Mmm, I bet he's gonna be wrong and it's gonna be Lyme disease. This feels racist. Well fuck you, it's not my fault this game doesn't work on an emulator. I do not believe that. There is no way he has a thousand episodes of this shit. There's no way he made it to a thousand episodes without being out as a pedophile or something. Celebrities don't have that much fame for that long without dying or getting in trouble. If he did one episode every week for 19 years, with zero breaks, he would have a thousand episodes. 
Bro does not have that work ethic. The vibes are off. For personal reasons, I've decided I'm going to amputate this guy. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I would not have the balls to sexually harass my boss. That's kind of crazy. Why is he blackmailing his boss? Imagine you're a kid who got this game for Christmas from your aunt who's like a bit stupid and just is like, Oh, I know kids. Uh, they like the newfangled DS. Oh, look, house. I, I like the house MD TV show. I'm gonna go to GameStop and get a house DS game for my nephew. Why is bro looks maxing right now? Err, 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 err. Why does it sound like a fucking baby at crocodile? Did the power go out? These things have motors. Why am I spinning this by hand? What the hell is this? I do not like whatever's going on here. This looks like some sort of bomb the Joker would make to look overly complicated for Batman to defuse. Can't believe Dr. House has the power to separate microbes on an individual level. All I'm taking away from this is House is unironically a god of this universe. What do you mean I did a bad job? I literally sorted microbes. I am literally playing god. And this? This is the thanks I get? Yeah, it happens to the best of us, honestly. What is this game rated? Holy shit. I love how every single line is the same. It just ends with House saying something rude. Most of the time, it's not even clever because it's so beyond irrelevant to the specific patient. Holy shit, this is just like the time Raintism faked a heart attack after being called a simp by John Swan. As House said, we'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Anime Dokimura. Anime Dokimura sells a variety of anime merchandise from pretty much any anime that you can think of. It took me quite a while to decide which products I wanted to review today, as there was so much to choose from. I ended up with these two square Pikachu pillows, which are incredibly comfortable to nap with and look adorable. They're pretty sturdy and washable, which is a must for me, given my chinchillas can and will attempt to destroy everything I own. I also got two wall scrolls, one from The Promised Neverland, which, by the way, please, for the love of God, read the manga. It is so much better than the anime, I promise. And one of Makima from Chainsaw Man. Both are pretty great sizes for apartments and do a lot to make the bland walls of student living more lively. The colors are vibrant and they aren't cheap looking at all, which is something that matters a lot to me for wall scrolls and posters. I've also got a discount code for you, which is flashing on screen right now, probably super obnoxiously, and I've linked the products that I personally got in the description if you want your apartment to look like mine. If you watch this little sponsorship segment, comment your anime recommendations and I'll check them out and potentially review them in a video one day. Thank you again to Anime Dokimura for sponsoring this video and go check them out after you're done watching. All right, cool. So now we've just broken into his house, you know, normal doctor protocol. What is this pajama Sam? Now it's a point and click burglary simulator. Yeah, let's take this guy's kid's artwork off the fridge and give them an inferiority complex that'll last a lifetime. Yo, wait, this guy killed a polar bear? Maybe it's better we just let this guy die after all. Hold up. What if there's asbestos in the wall? What if it's asbestos and lead paint? Maybe that's why he's out there killing polar bears. Wow, just a, another example of an incredibly innovative and enriching minigame for House DS. I knew the thousand episodes was bullshit. I knew he was a fraud. He's just like John Swan. He lied to Dream. Oh, here's the B-plot, I guess. Liberal juries? Is House a maggot? He's starting to sound like the people I bully on Twitter. Imagine saying this during sex. Oh my god, is this a Vosh porn folder reference? No way. This is what it's like to be a woman in a southern state, by the way. Gotta check this chick for lice. You know, I feel like you never hear about lice anymore, but back when I was a kid, they would check every kid's hair at my school all the time. Tons of cartoons had lice episodes too. We used to be a real country. Thinner than a promise? Who hurt you, house? Who hurt you? You look like you're on an all heroin diet is an insane insult. I have got to save that one for Twitter. Do you think anyone's ever jerked off to this game or... What do you mean you only go to the bathroom once a week? Lady, you are dying. She's taking No Piss November way too seriously. Oh god, she's on ED Twitter, isn't she? It's my medical opinion that every woman should have a fat ass. Why do we need an entire fucking tree to diagnose this guy? Small rock? How was I supposed to know that was an important item? Why that rock specifically? Wow, 
Rock Cleaning Simulator. Very imaginative. Made in New Jersey? No wonder he got sick. That place sucks. If this statue's made it to bed, why does it say made in New Jersey? Because it's made in fucking New Jersey. Can you read? I would kill myself if I was trapped in New Jersey for 10 years. Why even live? Why go on at all? Oh my fucking god, it was AIDS? Of course it was AIDS. It's always AIDS. I have AIDS? How? Me when I lie to my patient and tell him he has AIDS as a power move to get him to admit to faking a TV show. So this guy fakes traveling and exploring because he can't lose clout with his elderly audience? That's kind of depressing, I'm not even gonna lie here. Oh, would it be a problem if reporters outside found out? No house. He's been lying for absolutely no reason. Are you stupid? Why are dishonesty and fakery two separate options when they essentially mean the same thing? Was it worth it to maintain the lifestyle? to which I've grown accustomed? This is genuinely how rich people think. It's all about money. This is exactly the mentality that killed those guys on the submarine. Why is House becoming a transvestigator? Who does he think he is? JK Rowling? What's this guy's problem? Why is he a doctor if he despises his patients this much? People complain that House is too unrealistic because of all the rare diseases and circumstances, but I think House is too unrealistic because he hasn't had any discrimination lawsuits. Okay, I've been wondering this for a while, but are these backgrounds just photos they took and ran through with a pixel filter? Because they feel more like that than actual drawings. I unironically believe we need to normalize beating the absolute shit out of the paparazzi. They made Chase's eyes an obnoxious shade of green just like House. It's like they took the photos and made all the colors normal and then just quadrupled the saturation on everyone's eyes. I love how only House's eyes are photoshopped in this one. This is how people with blue eyes stare at you. This is how people with a high click-through ratio stare at you. This is how people who just mailed you anthrax stare at you. Lyme disease mentioned! Lyme disease mentioned! I'm being being represented in media for the first time. Let's fucking go. I literally guessed this five minutes into the game. I said it's AIDS or Lyme disease. I am a god. I will say the reason symptoms overlap here is I'm pretty sure if you get Lyme disease, babesiosis is a co-infection. I'm actually pretty sure I have both, but I can't remember which co-infections I have. Half of them do start with a B though. Oh, wow. Yep, there it is. I just said that. Shout out to Chase's completely unprompted trauma dumping and self-psycho evaluation. Reminds me of my middle school days talking down 30-year-old men on kick. Okay, but can you imagine if burners were actually designed this poorly in real life? We'd be fucked. This is the one time spinning it manually would, you know, actually make sense. And it's the only minigame where you don't have to spin a dial. Incredible. Not this shit again. This is your hospital? Not for long after I kill all the patients. What if this was a choose your own adventure game where you could have any ending you wanted, including making House a murderer? Look guys, I'm wiping piss all over this guy's skin. This rules. Imagine if I just screenshotted this and tweeted it and said it was part of the House MDDS game. Nobody would believe me. I'm cleaning a fucking lawnmower. This gameplay is so random and tedious. Some of the grass is interactable and some of it isn't, by the way, which makes it like a hundred times more annoying. Dead rabbit found. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks, Reddit. House once again stalking his boss. Do you think the real reason his name is House is because he breaks into people's houses? Maybe he should change his last name to Warren since he never seems to have one. Or his first name could be House and his last name could be Arrest. That would be funny, I think. A man is dying and House is more concerned with his boss's porn history. This is tipster when Kevils blocks him. So now we're interviewing the patient's landscaper since he also got sick, which you can tell by his obnoxiously red nose. Okay, Rudolph. Oh, B-plot girl is back. Okay, so side story here. When I was in first or second grade, we had a 300 or so page math workbook, and we had to do a few pages every day during math time. Anyways, instead of doing that, I would eat the paper as my teacher watched in horror. I was never allowed to have a dog eat my homework, so I did that shit myself. This may or may not have led to math being my weakest subject for the rest of my life. Oh shit, wait, I bet she has pica. Like, you know, my strange addiction, the people who eat mattresses and lead paint and stuff, a lot of them probably had pica. That causes weird craving like this. Oh shit, I was right. And you didn't check for pregnancy? I guess not everyone's as neurotic as I am about this stuff. Well damn, good for her I think? I guess that's the B-plot conclusion. Here it is. 
the screenshot that sent me into this rabbit hole and made me want to play this game. Shout out to my buddy Justin Wang for showing me this shit. This line goes hard as fuck, and I bet that's what future employers are gonna say about me. Yeah, this is this is literally my future employers arguing about me. Damn, I didn't know house was base like that. House W. Okay, so they've both got the same symptoms and likely both picked it up from Richter's house, I suppose. We're we gonna find out what's wrong with them soon or are we gonna just continue to throw darts at a wall and make more random guesses for another hour? Okay, this minigame is the fucking worst because everything is so low res, you cannot see what's going on at all. So it's just a miserable random guessing game and they expect you to get everything to be so precise. Not only is this unfun, but the bad graphics make it an absolute nightmare. This isn't The Sims, what the fuck is the point of this minigames anyways? Oh, thank god, at least after all that suffering, we learned something moderately useful. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother trying this time, fuck it. Oh my fucking god! Discover all the ideas by removing them from House's brain. What is this gameplay? Why am I playing ping pong inside of a guy's brain? This is hilarious. Oh my god, he made the soy face. All right, I'm just gonna let this conclusion play out on the video for like 30 seconds while I shut up because I can't pronounce half of these words, nor do I care to learn. But basically, he got infected by a sick rabbit being chopped up in a lawnmower. So Henry takes this new shot at life to come clean and tell everyone he's been a fraud all along. A very uo wholesome chungus ending. House refuses to let his boss into damage control with the reporter and the episode ends. I guess episode 2 is about Gordon Ramsay if he was a woman. Holy shit, is she a Homestuck? Is this a Homestuck reference? It says she's blue, but she looks gray. And I know that they can get blue because of House's eyes, so why did they make her gray? Anyways, I'm gonna keep calling her Carcat. Finally, someone who talks back to Dr. Asshole. Yeah, just leave your patient to die, that's definitely normal. I'm so glad House made a sex joke about Willy Wonka because I was unironically just about to do that myself. Yeah, okay, more of this. We can just uh, skip through this miserable process. Is that like a stereotype or something that Jewish people are bad at math? I have come across the most blatantly anti-Semitic people on the planet on Twitter, and yet I've never heard this one. Please let me know in the comments what the fuck House is talking about here. God damn, back to back racism, what is House on today? This is so surreal to see in a DS game. This shit again? I'm gonna become an alcoholic. I almost wish this was a visual novel because honestly this T's bullshit is worse. Okay, so she's got some condition with her blood and we need to know what caused it, right? So what's House's first thought? Well, her sex life, of course. So, I didn't know what poppers were and had to ask just jargon. If I had a doctor say that to me, I, I would just cry. I feel like this sentence literally short-circuited my brain. Why is House the way he is? What childhood trauma did this to him? What is his problem? Oh my god! I don't have buttons, so I have to tap this shit with my mouse, which makes it even more clunky. This game is like Love Live if Love Live fucking sucked. This is like a wannabe rhythm game with no rhythm. These quick time events suck more ass than the ones in Sonic Unleashed. Alright, so now we get the B-plot. 
This reminds me, when I was a teenager, I used to work at McDonald's, and I walked out and quit when someone took a shit in the middle of the floor. Not like in a bathroom stall or anything, just just, just the middle of the floor, just right out there in, in the open. This is just straight up a Twitter reaction image. Average conversation between Nick Diorio and Tipster these days. I don't know how the patients don't get distracted with those ominous neon blue eyes that House has. This is like how Wattpad writers describe eyes in their One Direction kidnapping fanfictions. Wow, that was House's only response without a quip at the end, which is almost funnier than any of his quips because it's completely unexpected. Whoa, I guess House's patient and the people who dislike me have a lot in common. What a small world. I wonder if carbon monoxide poisoning has had any effect on elections. There is no way Trump didn't get at least a few votes due to long-term carbon monoxide poisoning. Meanwhile, both Trump and Biden seem like they are actively being exposed to carbon monoxide. What a special pair. Soul bonded by carbon monoxide. Someone go write a Trump x Biden carbon monoxide angst fanfiction and get back to me. So we're learning about her general attitude and stuff, but these parts are low-key so boring because there's no house to say anything interesting. Wait, cocaine? Is this a Keffels reference? Imagine if Keffels turned blue, that'd be so fucking funny. Oh yeah, definitely cocaine. I'm gonna be real, I don't trust people who talk like this. I feel like they're gonna yell at me because of my star sign or something. Is this something people do? Drink cooking wine? I never thought of that. Drunk driving mentioned, I love drunk driving. You and me both, because then she could be like Keemstar. You know what else is is cringy? The fact that you drive home drunk every single night. <laughs> what the fuck are you even talking about? <laughs> he muted. He muted because oh he knows. God. He knows I own him. Bro. House confirmed transphobic? Boy, I wish people said this about me back when I was a kid. That's really rich coming from you, Mr. Can't Go Five Minutes Without Sexually Harassing His Patients. Case in point, he's literally doing it immediately after calling someone else a porn addict. There's an insane amount of projection and cope going on here. There's something morbidly hilarious about a point and click game centered around finding bottles in an alcoholic's house. I love this. What level of alcoholism do you have to be on to write a safe combination on wine bottles? How desperate for a gimmick do you have to be to make this shitty guessing game a minigame? This sucks so much. It's literally just a guessing game. What is this C-plot? Why is House breaking into his boss's house? You're in her house, aren't you? Sounds like a Twitter schizo post. This game was unironically so ahead of its time. Speaking of breaking and entering, it seems the other characters are breaking into the chef's house to learn more about her. How much easier would these people's lives be if they had the social skills to talk to their patients instead of breaking into their houses. Can you imagine a therapist who's so shitty at their job that instead of talking to you to figure out what's wrong, they just break into your fucking house and then confront you with the stuff they found? This is just sad. They made uncrumpling paper into a mini game. It's literally easier to do this in real life. Looks like Blue's Clues is really Boo's Clues. Got him. Bluish like Jewish. He really thought he cooked here, huh? Why does she have no eyes? She's soulless. Why is the Antichrist in this game? Why does this guy look more realistic than everyone else in the game? He looks like a crusty YouTube thumbnail. Can you imagine if defibrillators had these gay ass math challenges in real life? This would kill so many people, but it'd be really funny. It's on par with the CPR videos on YouTube that have pre-roll ads. Okay, so the chef doesn't want to be on this planet anymore, I guess. Tape it back together? Nah, she's not in a paper uncrumpling simulator like I was a few minutes ago. Imagine using someone's note as a blackmail. That's so normal. Why is he like this? I think House would be the most easily diagnosable sociopath on the planet. Damn, she looks more and more like Karkat because she's gray and has jaundice. I've actually heard about this where people who had IUDs but like were allergic to copper and they basically killed them. It's, it's pretty scary. Damn, what is his problem? Have a little sympathy for your patients. So many crimes come down to people fucking their coworkers and this is no exception. Do not have affairs with your bosses. It will not end well. Damn, seems you guys both used each other. I really don't have sympathy for either of you. Guess she was just into some weird shit since she did do poppers after all. 
Another point and click. These are probably the least annoying of the mini games, as it brings back some nostalgia for me for CD-ROM point and clicks. B plot time. Do you guys think Wilbur's soot is just a nervous chewer? How are you gonna chew on electrical cables and then get shocked when you get sick? Pun intended, by the way. There is no way that's good for you. How many elections do you guys think have been influenced in some capacity by lead poisoning? It's people like this who are storming the Capitol on January 6th. Guys, I didn't do it because I said I didn't do it. Um, my proof is because I said so. So now this chef is being interrogated about putting poisonous salt in his boss's food. He probably did it. The sex was mid, so he poisoned her. I get it, honestly. I do the same. Clicking and moving shitty low-res JPEGs as a minigame. Awesome. Oh, Claire's name is on the receipt, so I guess she bought the poison salt that killed her boss? Wait, Hal stole her guitar? Why? <laughs> He just got accused of committing a felony, and his response to that accusation is sexual harassment. Imagine going to court and being read your charges, and your only response is to talk about the judge's tits. <laughs> Funny enough, I had to do the same little task in my forensics class for handwriting analysis. Also, fun fact, I do the little heart above my eyes just like her. Oh damn, the signature was forged. I bet it was the dude she slept with who did it. Oh, so we can compare a signature. I see, I see. It makes sense. Bro is really getting upset they caught him. Bro thought he could get away with attempted murder. Ha, what a dumbass. Now they can see the bag. Alright, just like the last episode, I'm gonna let House explain the conclusion in silence because I cannot pronounce this stuff and I don't care to try. And the episode ends with Lana, the chef, realizing that she's a bitch and vowing to change. If only Twitter could have learned the same lesson. Is this a cult? What the fuck is going on here? They look like the organization from Kingdom Hearts. He looks so unamused. He's just done with their shit. He's just got done giving each and every one of these masked men the blowjob of a lifetime. This hand looks AI generated. What's wrong with it? Why do they all have sleeping masks on? Maybe they're just tired from getting their dick sucked, so they're ready for a nap. They all look like they want to play League of Legends. And why is there a casket? This looks like the beginning of Squid Game. Each day, it gets harder and harder to discern fraternities from gay orgies. Tipster when someone mentions a lollycon. This is me one hour no hating. I love how the dad is just staring into the distance like a Chad Wojak. Okay, but why did they draw him like a Chad Wojak? Why is House having gay fantasies about his patient's dad? This guy has problems. He's about to beat the shit out of House for calling his son gay. Incredible stuff. All frat boys are fruits, he is right. Damn, what's your problem? You're like, wow, you're sick, haha, <laughs> what a loser. No, it didn't? It didn't sound dirty at all. There is literally nothing dirty about that. It's such a standard question. We get it. You think he's a fag. Yeah, he definitely did and that's why he hasn't fucking mentioned it. Love how putting a magnifying glass up to his stomach told us he has diarrhea. What are these options? What's going on here? He seems like the type of guy to drink and drive home from work every night. Why does he look like that? Why is he wearing that? He looks like an undercover cop trying to buy fentanyl. Imagine you go to the hospital because you're paralyzed and your doctor gets on this ridiculous drip and his coworkers and him are all drinking beer from red solo cups and talking about your underwear. Me personally, I'd kill myself. This is me explaining the 2016 election. Hey man, leave tipster alone. Me when I flash frat guys so I can find out why my hospital patient is paralyzed and if it was potentially because he sniffs glue. It was definitely calm. These mini games keep getting better and better. Oh, this is the B plot. Okay, so this guy is a boxer having headaches and vision problems. Real shocker there, right? I can tell this game isn't meant for my demographic because I don't even understand half the cultural references House makes. I'm sure at least one of you in the comments will be on my ass about this, but hey, I'm 23. I was like, 
2009 in 2010 when this came out. I didn't keep up with anything that wasn't related to Pokemon or Sonic the Hedgehog. This is what I say to myself after each and every college exam. I've earned so much drug abuse and yet I barely managed to smoke weed once every two months. Ah yes, my favorite beverage, juice drink. Is Trevor an egg? What do we think, chat? Okay, our patient is either a YouTuber or a porn star. Which route we guessing? Please God, let someone try and rob House. It would be hilarious. I want an episode where House gets injured and has the doctor treat him like he treats his patients. Why did House just break into someone's house to take a shower? Is this some kind of fetish? Why is there so much fetish material in a DS game? Oh god, I wish I was fucking dead, and I'll bet she feels the same. The only thing funnier than the fact that House is saying a slur is the fact that they didn't even spell it right. I'm hoping Trevor is trans, because that'd be hilarious. Hilarious because this game is from 2010 and will probably have aged horribly. And I'm trans myself, so it's even funnier. Girlish figure? Please god let this be foreshadowing for Trevor being trans. Aw, oh, damn, no. No trans Trevor for us. We were robbed of god-awful representation. If this was a frat, Dumbsville would join it so fucking fast. Hey dying patient, can you help me sexually harass my boss? I've done like three or four blood tests in the past 10 minutes. It's getting really redundant. They must be really proud of themselves with this minigame or something. Not to mention, that is so much blood taken in such a short period of time. That cannot be good for him. Ayo, he is a YouTuber. He just like me for real. My guess is that we don't make very similar content though. Imagine if he reviewed games like this. I wish people would gather on a couch and watch my videos like this. Or maybe not. The thought of being perceived is kind of terrifying. Friendly reminder, I'm not real. This is all in your head. Wake up. Please God, wake up. We miss you. We want you back. God called me to do this too. I get it. Wow, analyzing someone's YouTube video. What am I, a commentary channel? Such is the life of a YouTuber though, to be honest. Is he drinking juice or sucking dick? Because holy fuck, what is going on here? Problem swallowing? Damn, weak sauce. Huh? What is it with this specific episode and House talking about Jewish people? It's even weirder because they didn't do it nearly as much in the last two. Wow, a new minigame. Fucking finally. What kind of minigame is this? Rubbing ice on someone's eyes? Genuinely, I actually want to know. Who did they think would find this fun? I love how the bottle just spins into place. Can you imagine if anytime you had to do an injection, the bottle just slowly spun in the air to where you needed it? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you say that to someone? Wait, holy shit. Is that THE Emily from Loki IRL? Down to the black hair and purple glasses. The first and almost same last name. That's honestly a crazy coincidence. Oh my god, that's Trevor. I recognize that dorm room in the juice. I was fucking right, Trevor actually is an egg. It's so obvious, dog. How do you not recognize Trevor's dorm? Okay, I spoke too soon. They recognize the dorm. Put the pieces together. I love how the average house episode is like, let's violate every part of this person's privacy that's conceivably possible and then misdiagnose and almost kill them 14 times and somehow not get sued even once. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Putting together ripped paper as a minigame? I thought I'd seen it all, but just when I thought the bar was in hell, it got even lower. Oh my god, these bitches are so dumb. I can't do this. My god, just fire him. Please don't let the Stockholm Syndrome affect how you run your hospital. Did he mean to say burgled, but then they misspelled it as bungled? That's hilarious. Bro's pulling his dick out in front of his boss while some rando looks on from the hall. No, she's doing her best. Don't call her a gigahon. It's so over. It has never been more over, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot that Kellogg sold the lies that jerk off would make your hands grow hair and make you go blind and that is cereal made people less horny that was crazy that people just believe that oh apparently boxer guy got infected from a wasp at his wife's sister's condo that's not gonna turn out well for him now is it now the b plot is resolved so back to our woke trans plot finally these guys get it took y'all long enough ah the old pretending to be in a straight relationship to fool the parents classic I wonder if Mike approves or feels like a cock, right? Thank you, Emily. That's what I've been saying this entire time. Incredible. This minigame is sorting through magazines to find a porno for our dying patient. This entire game feels like a satire of video games made by someone who's never played a video game in their life. Okay, so the underwear maybe caused it somehow or House is just being an asshole. House just wants to fuck all his female patients. House literally just became a soy Wojak YouTuber thumbnail over the thought of a patient wearing underwear. It's so over. No way. No fucking way. This can't be real. This can't be actual gameplay. There is no way this game wants me to sort underwear as a minigame. 
there's there's actually no way I, I think i might just lose my mind there is no way that the creators of this game looked at this and went yeah people are gonna absolutely love this shit once again i have gotta ask do y'all think someone has jerked it to this game we love a supportive queen congrats tob you are now a fellow transgender you have been pink pilled by house oh my god wait what if someone played this game and that's what cracked them as an egg? If this was the thing that made me realize I was trans, it would keep me up at night. There is something just incredible about a photo of House putting latex undies on a stick and poking a dying guy with it. I'm probably the first person to ever say that sentence. Wow. Okay, yeah, this entire scene reads like someone's fetish fantasy. I'm not even like joking this time. This feels like the writer's barely disguised humiliation fetish. Actually, shit, this whole episode feels like that. Who wrote this? He wouldn't get it, house god. Do you think this was Bonjour's thought process when he built that elevator? All right, you already know how it goes in this video. I'm gonna let house explain the conclusion. I don't even know if you guys care about the mystery or conclusion or just wanna see the offensive quips and shitty minigame, but oh well, I guess y'all can know the story too. Hopefully you care. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling so you can pay attention to house's explanation. See, this is why I simply never befriended transphobic people, because God knows I would have had to live with this moment so many times when I came out. If you never befriend people like that, you don't have to risk it, thankfully, at least with your friends. Honestly, though, it's kind of W for House for keeping Trevor's secret from his shitty frat brothers, so... First ever House W, and uh, that's how the episode ends, with, with House taking a W, and making this guy look like a Chad. This is what happens to my haters, by the way. Why is this guy in a completely different art style to all of the other sprites? Did their sprite guy just quit halfway through the game or what? Well, I guess this girl's our victim. I, I mean, patient, not the girl driving. Damn, she really out here psychoanalyzing her own mother in front of her. She has more balls than I do, I'll give you that. Oh God, we got ourselves a regular Redditor on our hands, but this episode will be fun. Me to the weird 15 year olds on Twitter who diagnose themselves with like nine rare disorders and then demand pity from strangers. Does the mom have jaundice? Why are her eyes piss yellow? Maybe she needs to be in a hospital bed. This shit ain't normal. Oh boy, she's a toddlers and tiaras type mom, isn't she? One who got stuck with a mediocre husband and a dead-end job instead of following her dreams and now tries to live vicariously through her daughter. I knew a lot of people with moms like that growing up. Yeah, never, never turned out well. Wow, that's a terrifying thought. One I never considered before, but will now haunt me for the rest of my life. They really are hilarious, because they end up going to somewhere like BYU and getting married into a loveless marriage within a week. Jokes aside, it really is your personal choice, and I don't care what you do, but probably don't marry someone you met last week. Probably. Okay, so he asks if she's on a diet, right? But the mom is like, no, she isn't, but I put her on a diet. So that means she is on a diet, so actually shut the fuck up. That's actually such an insane thing to say. I don't even think I've seen this comparison made on Twitter. House could make thousands a month with Twitter Blue. I'm not even kidding. Wow, way to throw your aunt under the bus. That's your sister dog. Show some respect. Yeah, being fat is arguably a lot worse than being a serial killer. Thanks a lot, Miss Jaundice Lady. This might be the best screenshot of the entire game because it's just incredibly on point. This chick just tried to diagnose House with autism. That's actually incredible. Imagine the fucking power play of going to the hospital and then telling your doctor he has autism. Okay, we're back to the C-plot that permeates throughout every episode. Okay, at least House is aware that he sucks. So that's progress, I guess? Or does that make it worse? Finally, some damn reasoning for the first time in this game. This guy is the only person with common sense. So I guess the girl's dad is pissed that the doctors are asking questions and don't know what's wrong yet and is getting pretty aggressive about it. Wait, 
This is Aunt Rose? She's not even fat, she looks normal. The fourth B-plot, this guy is a musician with swollen hands. Hey, oh wait, I just realized they changed House's eyes in the bottom sprite from that intense blue to a more washed out mint. But in the top sprite, he still has the YouTuber blue eyes. What's up with that? This quote reminds me of that one TikTok where the dude is listening to It's Always a Good Time and he starts talking about 9-11. You hear this? Doesn't matter when, it's always a good time then. What about on 9-11? I don't think it was a good time then. Whoa, did she say boy smell? Someone get Dumbsville in here. This isn't even helpful at this point. It's just straight up burglary. Mini games like this are great, because how am I supposed to discern what's important and what isn't when it's all so arbitrary and random? Not to mention, it's all incredibly low res, so I can't even tell what half this shit is. So now we're interviewing the coach about Paula, and he just looks like he's trying to riz us up the entire time with that pose. Is telling someone they look married a compliment or an insult? And here we go for another round of throwing diagnosis at the wall and seeing what sticks. Damn dog, that was uncalled for. I actually went to special ed law school. The patient is MySpace friends ranking her doctors. Again, what a fucking power move. I know some of you may be familiar with my sister as she's another YouTuber on here, but what you don't know is that she used to despise certain flavors of the Flintstone vitamins. If she got a flavor she didn't like, she'd put it in the furnace, and to make matters worse, I didn't like certain vegetables so I would put those in the furnace. Eventually, our furnace broke and we had to call someone to fix it, and I'm sure you can imagine the surprise on their faces when they were greeted with hundreds of vitamins and moldy veggies. So we're talking to Paula about how she takes diet pills and why and where she gets them, and then House hits her with this line. And I gotta know, what does he mean by illicit sex? Is it grooming? Zoo stuff? Incest? Other words that will probably get YouTube to hit me with that fat yellow dollar sign? What did House grow up doing? Ayo, our patient's a regular Jesse Pinkman, a true American entrepreneur. What a crazy thing to say about selling diet pills to minors, but to each their own, I guess. Who brings a bodyguard to the doctor's office, bro, what? Oh god, oh fuck, wait, is he just like me? Is bro on HRT? Aw, oh, hell yeah. Who is Amy Winehouse? Seeing House make all these cultural references made me realize something. The people watching this video a decade from now will not only be confused by House's references, but by mine too. Like, I'd make a Keffels joke right here or something, you know, and a decade from now, even the most terminally online out there will be like, who the fuck is Keffels? Not that that's a bad thing, but damn. Please, God, sue him. You're the first person to say something that makes literally any sense. Please, I will suck your dick. Just fucking sue this man. Get this man out of the hospital. He needs to be stopped. You are our only hope. Help me, random PNG in this DS game. You're my only hope. If a doctor said this to me, I'd blow my brains out in front of him just to make a point. I must resist the urge to make a tipster joke. Chat, give me the strength I need. We stand a neurotic queen, controlling every aspect of your kid's life totally won't land you in a nursing home in 20 years. So now we got this game with the most ass controls ever for stealing the mom's purse. Please note, we have already stolen two different purses from her house. How many purses does this bitch have? Wow, another burglary minigame. Again, if I showed this gameplay out of context, you wouldn't assume it's from the house DS game, would you? Oh shit, I was right about her mom. Never trust bitches like that. I wish more parents responded to their partner abusing their kids like this. I've seen a lot of people take the partner side. It makes me happy to see someone doing it right, even if it's just in fiction. Hell yeah, get that leech's ass. Time for House to explain the actual medical condition for a minute or two. House was actually so real for this. What a send off for the episode. Ah, here we are, the final episode. Damn dog, you really gonna say that in front of the whole crowd? This is some Vosh tier shit right here. Oh wow, so we just skipped the part where we normally check them out first and straight to the diagnosis. Do you guys think they were running low on the budget and decided to speed run episode five? To be fair, 
I really doubt they thought anyone would even bother to make it this far. Let's be real, besides me for this channel, who is actually playing this? So it kind of just speed runs super fast mini games. I think they made this episode shorter. A few times they gave me a performance review thing, like twice in a row without even doing anything. My guess is that they had more stuff planned to put in those spots, but just ran out of time or money or both. So back to that C plot, one of the doctors is now just telling House's boss to basically be just as petty as House. This is like a workplace war. Yo, why is this guy wearing a toga p-shirt? Why does it look like he's trying really hard to manifest a tennis ball in this frame? Damn, House, can you, like, just chill with the racism for at least four or five minutes? Thank you, Tob. Thank you. Thank god it's the final B-plot. I'm starting to get really fucking tired of these shitty midi games. Wow, we're actually gonna check this guy out, unlike our main patient. Guess they had budget for that. Wow, that hits surprisingly close to home, aside from the being rich part. I get it. Whoa, is this a dog whistle for AI art? God, I would kill to have a medium length coma right around now. Wow, I would love to see a circus act like that. I'd love to just watch somebody die right in front of me. I'd love to just see the life leave their eyes. I totally wouldn't like be traumatized. That totally wouldn't be something I would carry with me for the rest of my life. Now that would just be a, you know, fun weekend circus act. I'd love it. Please do this. Can we just start killing people in the circus? Can we just do that? Okay, so they basically find out he smokes and eats junk food, and that's really the only relevant thing happening here. Back to that damn guitar. Still have no idea what's up with that. Then again, neither does House, I guess. So now we're questioning the clown that Richie said smoked weed, and at first he denies it, but then he says him and Richie occasionally smoke some weed in the office, which, I'm gonna be real with y'all, I don't know a single clown who doesn't smoke weed, so that checks out. House be like, let's not do work. Instead, let's sexualize random women together as a male bonding exercise. Please, God, let Asbestos be the cause of all this. That would be so fucking funny. I mean, hell, if you've noticed the pictures I use in the background of my videos, a lot of them actually have Asbestos in them. Big Asbestos fan right here. Fucked up that Sleepy Joe went and banned my favorite form of insulation. Oh, great. Future Mango is back. Yeah, you know, you'd think that'd be a good thing to mention if you're having pain where the dog bit you, right? Guess he has whatever complex regional pain syndrome is. Oh, it's just persisting pain after injury. That actually makes sense. The B plot has been resolved. So we found out his wife has been sneaking him food, and allegedly one of the foods is a sandwich with cashew jam from Brazil. Well, Foreman thinks it's cashew at least. The wife says it's all fruits, but that there's one mystery fruit? What the fuck is a mystery fruit? So now we gotta call the sandwich company and figure out the secret ingredient. The mystery fruit, or whatever. The employee is super hesitant at first to tell us what it is, but then we threaten him with legal action, and then bam, yep, it was cashew. Here is House's final explanation to the final episode, thank fuck. So the episode ends with the doctors pranking House with a monkey, and then House pranking them back saying that the monkey has tuberculosis and that they gotta shut the hospital down and everyone's gonna fucking die. I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty great way to end this game. Oh shit, we're finally gonna get a conclusion of the C-plot. Let's let this play out. I've been curious. I don't know why she would get a birthday gift for someone who does nothing but sexually harass her, break into her house, and steal her stuff, but to each their own. If you're still watching... I commend you, because oh man, what a wild ride. If you took a shot every time House made a mean comment towards a patient, you'd become his next patient in seconds. Games like this are why I miss the DS, PS2, Wii era, where they would just put out as many games as possible with absolutely zero quality control. Now everything's gotta be AAA and perfect in Game of the Year. Fuck that. Give me a game that makes me want to drown out my pain with Benadryl and rum. What's awesome is it's just so off the rails and stupid, you'd have to be a loser to be offended by the AI-generated sounding dialogue. It feels like a high-effort shitpost in the best possible way. It's soulless and full of heart at the same time. Time, somewhere between space and time, occupying a part of your brain you didn't even know you had. Anyways, 10 out of 10. If you like this video, I make more videos, so uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe with notifications on. Oh, also Fruitcast, my podcast, has officially launched, which uh, there's a link to that in the description. 
And on top of that, I'm actually starting my own Urbex channel for exploring abandoned buildings this month, so I'll link that in the description too. Come see me in my natural habitat. Okay, I'm going to bed.